Hi, welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to the Real Divine Abundance reading for September. So we're going to dive right into it. We're going to use six decks these, this time. There was so much coming through about uh, divine support for what you're doing in the physical, what you're creating, what you're manifesting. So let's dive into your sacred wealth codes and see what are the qualities that you have that will maximize your real divine abundance in all forms. We're going to tap into the angels of abundance for messages when it comes to real divine abundance. We're going to tap into the divine power deck to find out what your divine power is being used for or should be used for when it comes to real divine abundance. We're going to tap into the real divine abundance deck. So this is why I even do this reading. Um, staying in touch with source for real divine abundance in all, all forms. So these are your divine partners, what I always say. So how we can stay connected to that for real divine abundance in all forms. We're going to tap into your divine. Oh, look at that. Claim peace for yourself right now. We've been getting that. Yeah, you are living your life divinely. Wow. Okay, so these are divine spirit messages from divine spirit for your divine spirit. Why, why I said wow was because the reading right before here said we're supporting you as you manifest. You can relax. <laughs> so we got that peace card showing. So you can relax in the fact that you have support with what you're doing in the physical. But these are all messages, divine support, divine spirit from divine spirit to your divine spirit. This is more direct guidance for what comes out in the readings. And we're gonna end it with pure love from spirit, which I feel like this all is. So let's get right into it and get into our secret wealth codes for September. So with what we're trying to manifest, create, build, grow, manifest, where are the messages for September? So let's see, what are the qualities that right away? The honorable warrior. I love when we get this card. Yes, they're the only card that came out. So they are looking at you as the honorable warrior. And this is Mars. And it is, I take a stand for positive change. So this is you. And we had two cards with unicorns in them for the weekly, if you didn't realize. And there was a lot about coming forward with um, staying aligned to your higher self and riding that unicorn fully aligned. You are the honorable warrior here in the physical. Stay aligned to that. Um, and you're taking a stand for positive change in your life, right? In the big and the small. So the qualities that they want you to embody at this time for September is brave, courageous, strong. We kept on getting that strength card. Passionate, bold. Yes, hardworking, territorial, athletic, competitive, decisive, heroic, loyal, disciplined, and action-driven. So what's leaping out to me is, of course, being strong and brave and passionate, bold, action-driven um, is really popping out at me. And the Honorable Warrior, so you're staying aligned with that and you're getting things done. You're taking a stand for positive change. And uh, that's, where they're they're, that's where they're keeping you. They're kind of supporting that energy for yourself in September with what you're doing to apply that honorable warrior and we have the organizer so with that being the honorable warrior here in the physical brave courageous action driven right passionate and everything else this is being very organized the organizer and this is Saturn so they are looking at you to really organize everything. Everything has its rightful place. So what is going to be very helpful to you is be patient, <laughs> practical, truthful, committed, steadfast, orderly, reliable, considerate, consistent, disciplined, systematic, instinctual, careful, detailed, discerning, rational. Now, that's the second, third time those cards have come out in the realm of the details and focus and on the little things and getting very organized. So you're taking a stand for positive change in September. They're keeping you brave, strong, action driven, but be the organizer in your life. Like everything has its rightful place. They could be really um, being very practical, detail oriented has come out, focus. So there's a lot about that being very careful here and detailed oriented. So they're keeping you as the honorable warrior and the organizer are the skills that will really benefit you when it comes to your abundance in September, getting organized and taking a stand for positive change, making things better, right? Being strong, committed. The committed came up twice, you know, practical, all of that. So let's get the angels of abundance. So this is going to support you with real divine abundance in all forms. What do the angels want to say at this time to help you? 
Honorable Warrior. Attracting, not chasing. So in September, you are going to be attracting, not chasing. And that includes everything. And we've been getting that a lot in cards also. Anything or anyone you chase after will run the other way because of the fears underlying chasing energy. Instead, attract what you need by sending out love, gratitude, and welcoming energy. So they're going to keep you like that because, first of all, you're the honorable warrior and you're getting very organized. You are not going to be chasing anything in September, rather just coming from a very aligned place and allowing yourself to attract what you need. So that's very helpful advice from the angels. Don't go chasing anything. Stay in your own very detailed lane, right? Staying organized um, and just being more of an attractor, not chasing. Let's see what other angel messages. I love that because I love that point of when you just stop, you throw your hands up and you surrender. Yeah, you just surrender and you just are allowing, right? You're not chasing anything. And here we have dreams of abundance, attracting, not chasing. And look, if that, and the dreams came right here. So this is dreams of abundance. As you sleep, God, your angels, and your higher self are giving you divinely guided ideas, answers, and solutions. Be sure to record your dreams in a journal because they contain valuable insights that will help you manifest your dreams into reality. So that is now the third time we're talking about telepathic assistance that you're receiving. Remember, they made me post that spirit message video separate. It came out that you're getting divine assistance. It kept on coming out. Like as you're doing things, first of all, they're keeping you in the right energy because you're not going to be chasing. You're going to stay really committed, standing strong, aligned, and we're just organizing things being more detail-oriented, slow, practical, everything else, and you're just attracting it. And also the streams of abundance that they're helping you, honorable warrior, that's part of staying aligned to this, is that they're actually going to be giving you tremendous insight from the quiet, from your dreams, pay attention as you're actually working and doing things that they're going to help you actually um let me put this here. You're attracting that chasing and you're actually getting a lot of divine assistance, which has come out a gazillion times. So you could get divine ideas, answers, solutions in the quiet, in the downtime, whenever you're doing something else. They're helping you to really organize and stay aligned as the honorable warrior where you're making positive changes in your life. Um, yeah. And just being brave, strong, committed and everything else, action driven. And you're really getting organized and they're helping you kind of organized has been a repeating message about putting the pieces together or as you're creating manifesting they're helping you with those ideas with that assistance and come from the energy of your attracting not chasing and i love that because chasing just takes so much of your energy talk about energy let's tap into your divine power what's it being used for i should be used for definitely not chasing attracting um being very organized passionate action driven committed brave but this practical reliable organized committed that's been a repeating message so here oh they're all coming out oh whoa they're coming out on the angels with your assistance so we're getting you have divine power to succeed now so they want you to know honorable warrior that whatever you're doing in the physical, like they said, you're getting divine assistance. Look at all this that came out. They're assisting you with your divine power here to stay strong and brave and action driven. And they're going to give you divine assistance. These are your dreams here. They're coming into you, not just in your dreams, but kind of as you're doing things in the physical here, you can get divine ideas, divine assistance. They're helping you to succeed. You have divine power to succeed now is what they're telling you all day long. So let's see what else your divine power is being used for. We have tons of it. So no doubt this when they're saying you take a stand for positive change, being strong, brave, look at all. they're supporting your divine power to be that way and be organized and actually bring things to fulfillment here. So you are getting you have divine power to change your mind. There could be times when you're saying yes. Now you're saying no. Now you're saying yes. You can change your mind. Maybe that's part of getting organized. You have divine power to be in sync with divine timing. They're going to remind you of that, that you're right within divine timing as you're doing things. You have divine power to connect with for more strength. 
Yes, this is strong, committed. Every time you feel yourself faltering from this stance, that's, they kept on saying that we had that Nine of Pentacles on the Unicorn again before in the weekly. If you feel that you need more strength, tap into them because you have divine power to connect with for more strength whenever you need for what you're doing in the physical. You have divine power to tune in more, exactly what I just said. When you need to connect for more strength, tune into them more. And you have divine power to remain connected to always. Do you see how that runs like a sentence? And I have chills when I say that. But you have divine power to connect with for more strength. You have divine power to tune in more. And you have divine power to remain connected to always. Because they're, connect they're keeping you in this stance as you're doing things in the physical. So if you need more strength, you need to feel more aligned like the honorable warrior you are for the positive changes. The action, things that you're trying to accomplish in the physical remain connected to always has been a repeating message they're telling you, you you have the divine power to succeed now so stay connected with them for more strength whenever you need um they're assisting you with divine ideas and solutions and things to come in be very practical detail oriented this has come up a gazillion times with september everything has its rightful place so how you're putting pieces together how you're aligning things how you're doing everything that's fine slow and steady details you're attracting not chasing is where they're keeping you it's so beautiful you have divine power to succeed now look at all the divine power they're giving you you can feel flexible with changing your mind especially if you get divine ideas and assistance change your mind um you could you're right in sync with divine timing tap in them with for more strength tune into them whenever you need they're always there remain connected to always as you're doing things in the physical they're helping you so let's tap into real divine abundance attracting not chasing i love that because that means that you are actually attracting what you need instead of having to chase it. You can save your energy for what you're doing in the physical. Let's get real divine abundance. Just stay aligned and you're in a track. See how it's above it? Hold the honorable warrior. You're going to be attracting, not chasing. And you're also going to get assistance, divine assistance, because it's it's all a real divine abundance is is they're all the cards are flowing up there so they're saying that you have divine assistance here so you're attracting that chasing remember real divine abundance is of love and joy and that can always be done freely so take a moment to remind yourself of that to have more love and joy do that more freely during the day it's going to keep you in the right energy of attracting that chasing that field of abundance that you're already in it you know when they say that um you trust your power is in this moment so use it positively and creatively making the most of it the power is right in this moment so they're going to keep you very connected to now to here aligned connected in every moment you can make more of it that's basically your power is in this moment so use it positively and creatively making the most of it they're going to keep you aligned to that in a sense making the most of your moments they're saying divine connections will be made along the way as you're doing the work here and clear out the old for new opportunities to appear. So there could be some divine connections being made and new opportunities are coming in as you're doing things in the physical, action driven, organizing things, bringing more abundance in by the work that you're doing. So yeah, so clear out the old. That's been a repeating message that September could feel like Almost like a new year, you're getting ready for a new year more than you would in January. Clear out the old for new to appear. Divine connections are going to be made along the way. Remember, you're attracting, not chasing, and you have divine assistance that's helping you to be this honorable warrior. So you're staying committed, passionate, action-driven, aligned. Um, yeah, brave, courageous, strong. They said whenever you need more strength, you tap into them. You're connected always. They're helping you to stay more organized, like be very organized, detail-oriented. That's come up two times now for September. So let's get the Divine Spirit messages to bring this home. What are the Divine Spirit messages for real divine abundance? But you have divine power to succeed now with what you're doing in the physical, how you're putting things together, organizing things for more abundance. Whenever you need more strength, tap into them. You're getting a lot of divine assistance, they said, and you're attracting that chasing, which I really love. Yes, express yourself at this time. They want you to express yourself at this time. Stay connected for divine assistance. Exactly. This has been amplified a gazillion times. Stay connected for divine assistance as you. they're looking at you here, being very action-driven, committed, um, 
be strong, feel connected with them whenever you need more strength or when you need divine assistance. Because here they're saying, we be sure because they're, they're giving you valuable insights that will help you manifest your dreams into reality. Divine guided ideas, answer solutions. As you're doing things here, as you're putting everything in place here, they're helping you definitely stay connected for divine assistance. Just like they said, you have divine power to remain connected to always. So whenever you don't feel that way, I can't, I can't even put it into words, but when you don't feel like this, take a moment to do that because they're helping you to succeed here and stay connected for divine assistance. Yeah, believe you are supported in this and you are never alone. Again, 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 again. Yeah, stay connected for divine assistance. Believe you are supported. You are never alone. That's what they want you to know as you're here committed, um, trying to make things better. You're taking the action steps. You're staying really aligned at this time. You're not alone. You're supported in this. You're putting a lot of things, you're organizing things at this time, or they're helping you to organize things. Remember, you're attracting, not chasing. So you can let that go. Kind of like that message they said, you can relax. Believe us, we're supporting you with what you're doing in the physical. This is your divine assistance. They said, stay connected for divine assistance. Believe you're supported. You're not alone. So these kind of things, as, as much as you're doing in the physical, they're helping you to attract not chase. You can succeed now. A lot of it is just being very strong, again, strong, committed, uh, brave almost, and action-driven. And you're the one that's putting it into place here. You're organizing it. So very detail-oriented. Everything has its rightful place. You're the one that's putting it very... Um, what do they say? Very practically detail oriented, very disciplined. You know, that's both of it. The honorable warrior does not give up. You're like honorably putting things in the place that it needs to be. So they're helping you. They're helping you as you do that. So let's get um, real, real, what is this? Your love from spirit. I'm a little distracted. There's so much divine assistance coming through for you as you're here being action driven, organizing things. But stay tuned in with them because they'll give you divine assistance and also they're helping you to stay very strong. Um, tapped into more strength whenever you need as you're being detail-oriented and organizing. Yeah, see, the pure love is, is landing on the organizing. It takes work, what we're doing. We will help remove that situation. Yeah, we'll help remove that situation. If there's anything that is not in its rightful place, anything that is an obstacle, anything that is not helping you as you're manifesting, they're going to help remove that situation. They want you to know, oh, this is so nice. We will help you feel safe. We are sending you signs. We are supporting you. There might be things, oh, this is... As you're doing things here in the physical, you know, you're getting a lot of divine assistance. There's a lot you're doing that's like organizing, putting things in place. You have to be very disciplined, very detail oriented, doing the work here. But they're telling you that, quite honestly, that they're going to help remove situations that say are being obstacle courses for you or not making it smooth. They want you to feel safe in the process of what you're doing here as you're doing things in the physical for your abundance. They're sending you so many signs and the signs are basically expressing that they're supporting you here as the honorable warrior. So these are the qualities, just again, that you are brave, courageous, strong, passionate, bold, Yes, hardworking, exactly. Um, heroic, loyal, disciplined, action-driven, decisive. They're helping you in a lot of ways to be strong, this honorable warrior, and they're sending you a lot of signs, and they're help sending you a lot of energy to feel safe that they're supporting you in this process, right? You're not alone. Believe you're supported. They're helping you with divine assistance when it comes to your dreams, or even in the waking hours as you're doing things in the physical, putting things in place, trying to bring in more abundance to succeed, right? That they're actually giving you ideas, valuable insights, helping you to manifest. Remember, you're attracting, not chasing. Because just staying in the octave of the honorable warrior, you're going to be in the energy state of attracting, not chasing. And they're also, anytime you need to connect with for more strength or feel connected, Definitely, they were saying, tune into us. You're connected always as the honorable warrior here. So whatever you're doing in your life, taking a stand for positive change, you know, and then doing the work, very detail-oriented and uh, all of that, 
they were helping you to put that together. That's the second time it's come out. Remember, we had that in the weekly as well. So they were definitely helping you to stay that way in your strength, action driven, at the same time, very detail oriented in September, right? Remember we had the Akashic step-by-step, stone-by-stone. It kind of reminds me of that, the organizer. Um, they're giving you a lot of helpful insight again. And remember you're attracting that chasing. I love that. They're sending you a lot of signs and a lot of divine assistance. Whenever you need to feel like infused, like the honorable warrior again, do something that gets you right back connected with them because they're actually, they're giving you the divine power to connect with for more strength. So they're the ones that are going to support you with that divine assistance. You're not alone. And that energy actually to keep going as the honorable warrior you are here with what you're doing. So I wish you the best with real divine abundance, with what you're creating, manifesting, and doing in September. And uh, yeah, this is love support backing for you. Take care. Bye-bye.